Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, I'm going to define and explain the fixed beam and why it is important that we always try to construct a fixed beam in our daily construction. So here I took is a, a simply supported beam as a reference. So then I can uh, differentiate and explain the uh, fixed beam. So this is a reference beam, which is a simply supported beam. And here we have a fixed beam, fixed beam. So I will define the fixed beam and according uh, to the reference of the simply supported beam. So let's suppose the simply supported beam has a two pointed load. Let's suppose if one and if two are the two loads acting on this beam. So upon loads, this beam will try to defend, try to deflect here, like in this way will show some deflection and this way at the mid span we will have some maximum deflection while at the supports we will have no deflection and we will have some support reaction here at the both ends. So this is the behavior uh, this is the behavior of the simply supported beam and here we can see that there will be some kind of slope here at these two ends Q I represented it by Q so we have some slopes at the end of the simply supported beam. Now if I consider the fixed beam, so when the same load is acting on this beam, for example, this is again F1 and this is F2 and due to this load, the beam will try to deflect here like in this way. So we see here that there is no such deflection here at the ends of the beam. Here if we look to this part, there is no deflection. Also, if we look to this part of the beam, there is no deflection. Why? Because we have here a fixed supports at the both ends. So due to these fixed supports, our beam will not show any deflection. Now let's try to understand that why we don't have any deflection at these end points. It is because that due to these fixed supports, we have some movement created here in the anti-clockwise direction. And also we have some movement here in this in the clockwise direction. So when the load X, these loads X try to deflect the beam in this direction. So here the supports create the movement in the opposite direction and it try to close this deflection. So that's why we have zero deflection here or we can say here the slope equal to zero which we define it here. Here will be some values but here in this case in fixed beam this slope will be equal to zero and also the deflection is also equal to zero. So now here if we see to this case due to this load the beam is trying to deflect in this way here and due to which the fixed support try to create some movements here these are the movements so this create the movement in the opposite direction and try to close this uh, deflected part that's why we don't have any deflection or the slope at this point of the beam so this this is the main behavior of the fixed beam that, they, that it will not show any type of the deflection or any type of the slope at these fixed supports. So this is the definition of the fixed beam that it will not show any kind of deflection and slope at their respect to supports because they are fixed supports so there will be no deflection and no uh, slope. While in the simply supported beam we will always have some deflection here we see some kind of deflection and also some kind of rotation. So this is the main difference between the simply supported beam and the fixed ended beam. Hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.